Good day, YouTube. 25th of November, 2020. And uh, I'm going to show you a, a little tool I picked up this morning that I've had many of, but I'm using it in a completely different way. Good day, YouTube. We are going to talk about a tool that I wanted the other day, but I couldn't find one that existed. So I was cutting this piece of channel iron, and I got out all of my magnets to hold a piece of metal so that I could cut that straight. And I said, well, probably somebody makes a magnetic straight edge, right? So I was in Harbor Freight this morning and uh, to buy a couple other things. And I went to the welding aisle, and there really isn't a magnetic straight edge. And then I had an idea. Above my really messy bench is a couple of these... Uh, 18 inch magnetic strips. Um, you should get them real cheap or free or something. Harbor Freight you bought a bunch of stuff. They're about three bucks, I think, right now. Um, and there's two of these strips. I just keep an assortment of um, bits and tips and things on them just so that they're quick um, to grab. I even have a full set of uh, tips over here that are just stuck there by the magnet. Um, it keeps me going through my drawer. Because the drawer is scary. There's a million bits and tips and things in here, but they're very, very difficult to get organized. You can buy the kits and all that jazz, but um, the common stuff uh, tends to disappear out of those. I also have one over by my drill press. So I picked up a new one while I was there this morning. I cut the uh, box. So this is what it is. U.S. General 18-inch magnetic holder. I think it was three bucks. If you got a coupon, it'd be a two dollars and forty cents. Pretty cheap. I can get it out. So to test it, while well, it was still in the package this morning, I laid this thing up against the the square steel that holds the roof of the building up, and it made a heck of a clang got everybody's attention and I went yeah that'll work because it really sticks good so I've got this piece of test metal here let's just throw this on there I don't care how square it is or anything we're just going to test it out and see if it uh, moves around and if it's a really good guide for the plasma cutter stick all right let's cut it out of move please Here we go. Oh, this has a couple of rails at the end I forgot about it didn't slow down but let's look at the cut very nice it's nice and straight all the way through except again for those two rails I forgot to slow down for but very nice this is the tool and it's really good magnet that works great it hardly even put a blemish in it for cutting with your plasma cutter that Harbor Freight doesn't even know they have for that purpose. So very quick little uh, tool tip. Pick one up today, keep it on your uh, cart with your plasma cutter, and uh, you'll always have it. And it's not super magnetic on the back side, so it's uh, only magnetic on one side. So good tool? I think it is. I'm glad I thought of it, and uh, I'm glad that's a uh, now I'm going to be a, have a permanent home on my plasma cutter cart for next time. Thanks, guys, for watching. Comment and subscribe and share it with a friend. Give me a thumbs up on the way out the door. We'll catch you on the next video.